you have a relationship with NBA Young Boys, you know, camp. Right. Uh, you had some dealings with them. I remember me and you talked and you told me about driving uh, them back to Baton Rouge. Right. Let's talk about that for a second. Because right. I, I, I mean, a white guy driving uh, these brothers, <laughs> What? how did that even end up happening? Right. That's the OG33. <laughs> Yo, you already know what's up. <laughs> Before the 100 mil. Before the 100 mil. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we talk. I'm, I'm never on camera. Like, y'all are one of the few, really, I'm shit. I'm the only you know one. saying it was y'all, and then there's another company. Just, you know what I'm saying, where I jumped on. Yeah, Because this other that. thing we have. Right, but I saw that. Y'all are the first person I ever did an interview for. Right, ever. right. Let me let me no. just ask you. Um, I want to I want to ask you about. You have a relationship with NBA Young Boys, you know, camp. Right. Uh, you had some dealings with them. I remember me and you talked, and you told me about driving uh, them back to Baton Rouge. Right. Let's talk about that for a second, because right. I, I I mean, a white guy driving uh, these brothers. <laughs> what? How did that even end up happening? Right. That's the OG three three. <laughs> Yo, you already know what's up. <laughs> Before the hundred mil. Before the hundred mil. So what? What happened? I mean, how did you end up doing that? Shit, he was tired. You know, we just got that. You know, it's like y'all. You know, it's like family in a sense. You like, like it's, I, it's I business and home, shit, but bro. it's fa- you know, but it's just a deeper, deeper. Yeah, you know, relationship. So yeah. he was like, dude, I'm tired. Da, da, da. I said, dude, I'll drive you out. You know, to Baton Rouge, and he was like, bullshit. And I was like, no, man, I'm going to pack my bag right now. He's like, really? And I was like, yeah. It was Sunday at like five in the morning. You know, we had all been up. It's, you know, Sunday. Yeah. So he been out here Friday, Saturday, nonstop. And you drove you know, back home? Or yeah, you, you know, and then I, I get in the car, I get my backpack. Of course, they're, you know, they throw the white dude right in front of the driver's seat, right, <laughs> right. off the rim. Like, I already know what's up. I ain't saying shit. We just, I was about to say, because the first thing anybody going to think about is like, oh, you ain't going to get stopped. <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And then, then I called call Space Boy. We, we made it over the Texas line. I said, we still good. <laughs> 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 really don't know what's going on around here, but I know we're good right now. So, <laughs> man, I, I love it because, you know, to build that relationship, did you? ever think that he would be as big far as uh he is today nba yeah, young boy the yeah way and he i've is. said it to uh, people in like higher up executives in the industry and ah uh, he's he's played his time bullshit that kid has been hit his prime mm. wow. trust me and that that kid has put out more mixtape and albums than anyone i think last year they put out like nine projects yeah, yeah. dude everything they no, go, no one's doing that right and so you know he's just got a whole nother work ethic about him and then you got to stop and think he has not hit his full potential yet you know because he had some legal issues and you know boom that's going to be a setback right but he beat that case yeah and then he got out and then boom you know back in then COVID hit et cetera et cetera but then if you really look at it that kid has never had a full international tour Mm -hmm. uh uh with with Live Nation or AEG, and he's never done a full American tour, North American tour through AEG or Live Nation. Wow! And right now he's you know, still so many people favorites. Oh yeah, because every they time when we ask, and he's not him. on the radio, mm-hmm. and he's they one of the number one stream. Exactly. You know, so I'll argue with anyone about that shit because I've seen it in real life. You know, we we live stream pay per viewed him six years ago. People only know about that. We're the yeah. only ones in the world that had actually broadcasted him live on. A platform. Wow, where was this at? That was in New Orleans when he first got out of jail the first time. Yeah, and y'all yeah, went we, down. And, yeah, it was, it was. Matter of fact, that weekend is when they crown or they uh, chained. Um, man, what's the dude that got in all the shit uh, with him? They chained. They chained him up at that show and everything, uh, dude. What was uh, it? God damn, it's gonna make me. He got into it with, with uh, NBA Young Boy. No, no, no. He didn't get into it with them. It was like the. Yeah, I'm not getting into all that, but uh, man, what's his name? Sorry, everybody. No, Fred, <laughs> Sorry, three three. He from he from he from New Orleans. No, nah, he was from Atlanta. He from Atlanta, and, and then he signed he signed the to the label. Okay, okay. Now I don't know who it God was. Damn, that's gonna kill that's me. Gonna get, yeah, yeah, that's gonna kill you. Yeah, that's. We might slipped on we, that. I'm old, so uh, it'll come to me uh, after a while. It'll right. Come after you. Oh but, yeah, I remember, I remember that. But that's when mm-hmm. he signed the Young Boys label, and they chained him up that night, and then they got a, a double. 
like I don't know it's some like they because they sold out two shows back to back in House of Blues so they got like some type of gold record plaque deal for signing out selling out two back to back shows at the wow. House of Blues out there so right then I knew this kid he's just he's he's different he's an anomaly if you like him or not I don't give a shit at the end of the day that dude's you know his, his streaming numbers are off the chain. And he, in my opinion, I still to this day don't think he's hit his full potential. I think it's it's been good for him to be in the position that he's at right now because it's made him grow in a lot of ways, mm-hmm. right, and mature in a lot of ways. You know, he's he's you know when he was popping back in goddamn six years ago, I think it was like he was like eighteen or nineteen, dude. Listen, you I've know? seen this guy. Take his stuff off of YouTube. I seen this guy right. put makeup on. <laughs> he put makeup on on YouTube. I mean, his pictures start popping out. But then they start saying, comparing him to like a rock star, mm-hmm. like Kiss and all of them, because that is a thing, you know. Right. Like people, you think he's gonna cross over later on, switch it up and cross over? I think he already has. You think so? I know he has. That's what I'm saying. He's, I don't. He's I don't, a I different think type more, of artist. The more he matures, the more he's gonna he's gonna go into other things that you wouldn't expect of him. And he's gonna kill it, no matter what, what think, he touches. What What do you think his? Because I would think any career has a um, lifespan. Right. What do you think his is, career wise? Man, I'll go. I, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. I think it's we haven't really tapped into. I know, it. but how you know long I mean? you think it would be though? Like when I think he's coming hit. I think he's going. He he's going to be one of them Drake dudes and one of the you know you Kodak years, Blacks. Yeah, I don't years. think he's going away. You don't think he's going nowhere? I don't think he's going here. I think he's one of the exceptions within the music industry that hasn't had to bow down to the masses in radio mm-hmm. and shit. And he's got his own fan base, which is massive. Right? And nobody else like him right now. All he's got to do is k- keep his head on right and, and continue to mature. And I think as he does that, he's going to reach his full potential. Mm. Wow. Um, so... Here we go. You know, he, yeah, he he will reach his full potential because he's the NBA young boy, and they love him. These young cats come on here, and he can drop a song, and he go to ten million in one night on YouTube. He's That's different. It. He's That's a different it. type of guy. He man. is, man. I mean, who put out nine projects? Nobody. <laughs> Only one did that with Master P. Now when they right. did them twenty seven in, in one twenty eight. Okay, twenty eight yeah. in one year. Right. That was in the nineties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Different time, but. I mean, a white guy driving uh, these brothers. <laughs> what? How did that even end up happening? Right. That's the OG33. <laughs> Yo, you already know what's up. <laughs> Before the 100 mil. <laughs> Before the 100 mil. Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk 101. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. We doing numbers. Y'all looking pee wee. Y'all looking hungry. We looking greedy. Remember back then we were poor. Nice a unique hustle. Come shop at the store.